Hey guys, welcome back. Today is kind of a more somber video, I guess. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as in my last video because I'm filming these videos in the same day. Because, as I was working, you know my peace lily, that's my desk plant, I looked over and I noticed some weird coloration on her leaves. There's like this black speckling on one of the leaves, so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Is that mold or something? She's dry, so it can't be mold. Like, I let her dry out before I water her. So, I was confused. And then I took a closer look, and I lifted up that leaf, and you can see there's a little white speckling. And you guys know what that means. And if you don't know what that means, it means she has mealy bugs. Mealy bugs. I don't know how. I don't know why. All I know is that they gotta die. <laughs> Alright, so. I did some online googling and the best course of action that I can figure to take is to wipe down her leaves with an alcohol solution. So I mixed in this cap. I mixed three parts water with one part 70% isopropyl alcohol. I think that's right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dip this Q-tip in alcohol and then just rub on the plant, <laughs> which I'll show you in a second. Alright, so I angled you down so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to get on into it. We're going to start with the leaf I saw first, this one right here. And what I'm going to do is just rub on the leaf like that. You can see where I'm getting it. Just rub, rub, rub. Get in the little crevices where the bugs like to hide. Okay, did the top. Now we're going to lift, lift her up. And here where all the little white bugs live. We're just gonna rub them right off. They aren't welcome here. disgusting shit at the end of this. So we know it's working. It's working. Anyway, next up, we're definitely going to get these baby leaves down here because the bugs love new growth. They love to hide at the base near the new growth and just take advantage of them. So we're just going to wipe them out as we do. You want to make sure to get in all the crevices any kind of nook and cranny in the plant is a place that the bugs will definitely make their homes. They will hide, they will breed, and then you'll have a bigger problem. So always be mindful to get in all those little cracks. Now I have heard some people prefer to use hydrogen peroxide I considered that option when I was researching ways to get rid of the bugs, but according to what I read, hydrogen peroxide doesn't really kill the mealy bugs because I guess it can't penetrate and kill them, I guess. Point is, hydrogen peroxide doesn't work on them to kill them, is what I understand. So we're just going the alcohol route just to be safe because if I did do hydrogen peroxide and it didn't work, I'd be doing this all over again. And I don't want to be doing this all over again. <laughs> I kind of want to get it done and have it stay done, you know? And I do hear that when you use alcohol 
on your plants, even if it's diluted, I'm assuming that there is a risk that you'll damage the leaves, especially these young ones, the young leaves that are still unfurling. They might become distorted or warped due to the alcohol, but honestly, that's a risk I'm willing to take because I'd rather it not be infested and eaten alive by bugs than worry about what it looks like aesthetic-wise, you know? So I'd rather be happy and healthy and look a little funky than dead, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just my train of thought. Everyone's free to do what they think is right, of course, but this is just how I'm doing it. <laughs> so. We're going to rub rub. Oh, and a little bit about mealybugs, because when I first started my plant journey, I didn't, I heard a lot of things about mealybugs, but I never knew really what the fuck they were, like what they look like, what they did to the plant, that kind of thing. So let me tell you a little bit about what I learned recently. <laughs> so mealybugs, I'll insert a picture of what they look like. So mealybugs, they're little white fuzzy critters with multiple legs and they look like scale but they're white and fuzzy basically. And they leave this fuzzy white uh, residue on the leaves so if you don't see the actual bug themselves you'll see the residue for sure. And that's what I saw. And that residue is where they lay their eggs. So you definitely want to get the residue in addition to the bugs. And they reproduce like crazy. So if you find mealybugs, you definitely wanna isolate your plant. And good thing this plant lives in isolation, basically. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little plant, but being my only dust plant, she lives in isolation. Because I heard peace lilies are low light plants, so my desk was like the only viable option for her because I have literally no space in my room as you guys know. <laughs> so she lives on my desk alone but she has me so she's not really alone. But yeah. So she's already been isolated. There, I have however noticed the presence of spider mice and or mealybugs in, my, in some of my other plants so I'm gonna be doing this with them later. So that'll be a lot of fun. No, it's gonna be sad and and time consuming, but these are my babies and I let them get this bad. Oh, it's just, it's a sad day for my plants. Well, it was sad when they got the bugs in the first place and I didn't notice because I was too wrapped up in my own, my own life, I guess. Like my work and shit. But. I gotta pay more attention to my plants because they're my children. You know, this kind of treatment on these larger leaf plants is kind of of fun actually. <laughs> I hate to say it because I know it's not fun for the plant but I like wiping away these harmful critters <laughs> and it's easier to see them on larger leaves. Like I have another plant that had mealybugs when I first got it but I didn't know and it was towards like the beginning of my plant journey so I couldn't really tell what bugs were what and what to look out for. So I accidentally bought a plant that had mealybugs. I didn't know what they were. I thought they were scale, but no, they're mealybugs. And I treated it by spraying it with neem oil and they kept coming back. So I repotted it with new soil and I think that ultimately, ultimately took care of it. But I was fighting with that for a long time. Oh my God, the war on mealybugs is real guys. Always keep a close eye on your plant so you notice it and you catch it quicker and it doesn't become a full out infestation like it did with my other plant. So, just you know, if you're passing by your plants or you're watering your plants, always take a close look 
at the leaves because that's where you'll notice it first. Because it's good to catch these little fuckers early so they don't spread to your other plants. Oh, and if the plant that you find, the infected plant, if it's touching or in really close proximity to other plants in your collection, you definitely want to take a really close look at them too. And just as a precaution, you probably want to spray it with some neem oil or some insecticidal soap, even if you don't see any bugs, just as a precaution. Now circling back to the hydrogen peroxide method, I did hear it was effective in killing mealybugs that eat the roots, like, because apparently that's a thing. I didn't even know mealybugs could live, like, and eat the roots like they do the leaves. I didn't know that was a thing until I just googled it a little bit ago, and I was like, oh god, I really hope that that's not the case for this one. So I think I got all these leaves, I just have to, to scrub down this new one that's been unfurling. Which is sad because it'll probably warp it, but then again, as I said, I'd rather have it look a little wonky and weird than have the plant dead. So, that's what I keep telling myself as I do this, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I can definitely see them inside the leaf, so it's definitely good that I'm doing this to the new one. Because it's hiding in the crevices. I guess that's where they feel safe. But not anymore, bitch, I'm coming for you coming for you because you're coming for my plant. I believe I have got them all. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do another once over on each leaf to make sure looking good. Oh, there, see this is why you double check because either they were carcasses or they were live but I got them. So either way, they're dead. <laughs> and I noticed as I'm rubbing the leaves with alcohol on some of the ones with the the black spots on them, it comes off on the Q-tip as like this really gross brown stuff. Here I was thinking it was just the leaf dying, but the leaf might be fine. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> if you guys are old enough to remember, you remember those pads? that you would have like a pen filled with water and you could draw on the pad with it and then when the water evaporates the drawing goes away. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Sorry if it's random or something, but like that's just what came to mind doing this. And it kind of takes me back. And it looks like I got them all. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just grab it like this and yank it. No. Sorry. So I think we're good to go. Look at, oh my gosh, she's shiny, she great, she glorious again. Oh my gosh, I hope, I hope that they don't come back and that I got them all the first time. But you know, you never know, so I'm just gonna keep a close eye on this plant for the next couple of days and see how she does. That's all I can really do for this plant but I hope it'll be enough. All right, guys, she's all done. Her treatment was successful for now. I'm gonna still monitor her, keep a close eye on her, <laughs> but hopefully this treatment was all she needed. But, you know, I guess we'll just see. I will give you guys an update if the alcohol treatment works or how long it works for. So that's it for this video. If you liked, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment any like tips or tricks you have to getting rid of mealybugs or spider mites. Go ahead and leave that in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram now. <laughs> it's chameleon plants. I will leave it on the screen here. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram for more fun planty things. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!